So in this diagram, we have a triangle ABC. So ABC is a right angle triangle, as we can see clearly on the diagram. Now D is the midpoint of BC, so D is right here. This is half and half because it is the midpoint of, of BC. Now, angle DAC is 30, as you can see, and the angle BAD is X. Okay, great. Now we have AD is given to you by the length L. So part one, express each of AC, BC exactly in terms of L, okay? And show that AB is given to you by this. So one by one, first let's find AC. So where's AC? AC is this length. Okay, so what can we do here? Uh, let me take out the shape of triangle ADC. So we have A, D, and C. Right, if you can see that. This is A, C, and D. Now we know this is a right angle, and this is the value of 30. 30 degrees. Right. Now what's next? We know this is L. Now we have to find the value of AC. So this is the value of AC that we need to find. Okay. So how can we find this? So clearly, we will have to use SOCATWA because we know this is a right angle triangle. We know the angle here, we know the side, so obviously we can use SOCATWA to find the side of AC. So we have this side, this is the hypotenuse, which is H and H, and we're trying to find the A side, this will be A. So here we have to use cos. So cos of 30 is equal to A, which is uh, this side AC, over the value of H, which is L. So conclusion will be AC by cross multiplying will be L cos of 30. Now, we have to provide the exact value. So what is the exact value of cos of 30? So you guys have to know this. Uh, I mean, usually you don't, you don't need to memorize, but it is definitely, I will recommend that to be honest. So cos of 30 will be this value. So I do know that with experience and practice, this is the same as taking this divided by two. So that will be L root three over two. Now, I guess I'll also show you guys in, when the time comes, there will be another method we can use to not memorize this. However, the reason why I tell you guys to memorize those values, because it will just save you time. That's the reason why. So you guys have to know the exact values for the angles 30, 60, and 45. These are the values that come up the most often where they ask you for the exact values. So for these angles, if you guys can memorize, kudos to you. Now let's move on. Here we have AC as root three over two times the value of L. That is part one of the question. Now for part two, we have to find the value of BC. Now let's have a look for um, BC. So where's BC? BC is this big thing. BC is made up of, so as we can see by observation, we know that BC is BD plus DC. So we have this part and this part. Now we understand that BD and B DC, they're the same. So we can just find DC first and then multiply by two to get BC. So let's first find DC. Now again, by using the right angle triangle. So we have this, this, and this. This is A, C, B, and this is 30. This is 90, this is L. Okay, let's find the value of, so this is DC, not BC. DC, as we have seen here, DC, right. Now, how are we going to find this? So pretty easy again, we can still use Sokatra to find the value of that side. So let's check it out. Soka and 12. So here we have the H side, which is the hypotenuse. And here we have the opposite side, that will be O and O. Here we have the most marked, we have to use sine. So sine of the angle have to be the opposite side, which is DC, over the value of H, which is L. Now, from this, obviously, we can just simplify. That will give you what? DC have to be L sine of 30. That will be half of L. So here we have found the value of AC, and here we have DC. So finally, we realize that obviously, 
while trying to find BC, but we know DC is just half of BC. We'll just multiply by 2, that will give you BC have to be the value of L. Okay, that is part 1 and 2 of the question. Now finally, we have to show that AB is equal to this. Now what is AB? AB will be this big one. Now, since we know this is uh, what value? 3 root 3 over 2L and BC is L, we have to find this side. So, we have to find this side how? We have to use the Pythagoras theorem because we know the two sides and we know this is also a right angle triangle. We can simply use that. So, so that will give me what? Root 3 over 2L squared plus L squared, and that will give me A, B squared. So let's solve, one by one. So here I will have uh, 3 over 4 L squared, plus 1 L squared, that will be A, B squared. Let's simplify. 3 over 4 plus 1, that will be, so 1, that will be 1, 3 over 4, but if you want to simplify, that will be 1 times 4 is 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 over 4. That will be 7 over 4 L squared, that will be A, B squared. So finally, we can just find the value of AB by applying square root on both sides, you will have what? So let me uh, continue over here, have more space, right? So right now I have a b square is equal to 7 over 4 l square. So a b will be root of 7 over 4 l square. That will be root of 7 over root of 4 times root of l square. That will simplify to what? So here I will have l because we know that root Square root is simply the power of half. So L square power half will be L. Root of 4 is 2. And this will be root of L. So let me continue uh, this over here. So we realize AB is now equal to half L times root 7. And this is, guess what? Shown as required for the side AB. Okay, that will be part one of the question. Now let's move on to part two of the question. We have to show this is this. The value of x is given to you by this. So how can we show this? Let's think. Where's x? x is right here. This one. Right. And then what else do we know? Uh, we know the whole thing. So we can use a few methods here. We can actually uh, break this down. So now we also have to realize something um, is that if you add those two, so this big one will be what? 30 plus x. Right, that's the other thing we do realize. Now, if you break this down, if you just take up the whole triangle, what do we have? We have this thing A, B, and D. So I see. This is C, this is A, and B. Now this was found to be L, and this was found to be half L root 7, and this was found to be the value of root 3 over 2 L, and this is 90, and this whole thing here is just x plus 30. Now, because we have to show that we have a tan, we understand tan is toa, right, tan is toa, we need opposite side over a side. So let's do this. Tan of the angle of x plus 30, that has to be opposite side, which is this side L, over a side will be this side, which is root 3 L over 2. So this and this will obviously cancel out, so you will have 1 over root 3 over 2, which is the same as 2 over root 3. Now finally, x plus 30 will be simply tan inverse of 2 root 3 and x will be tan inverse of 2 root 3 minus 30. 
Ki and that will be? You answer exactly shown as required for part two of the question. Okay, and that will be another question involving the concept of trigonometry.